Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Abian. I'm a final year medical student studying in London. And in this video, I'll be talking about my two favorite apps, which are Anki and Notion, which I've used in medical school. I've made several videos about it as well. I've even made a separate playlist on Anki and a separate playlist on Notion, which just kind of goes to show you how much I use those two apps. However, in this video, what I'll be talking about is the differences between Anki and Notion, their similarities as well, and why I think actually you should use both of them together and how to actually use both of them together in a way that complements your studies during medical school. So if you haven't heard of the apps already, essentially in simple terms, Anki is a flashcard app and Notion is a note-taking app. What's great about both Anki and Notion is that you can use it to store your knowledge or store the content that you need to learn as kind of like a database. You can do that in both apps and both apps have a search functionality with the browser in Anki and with just command P in Notion, which allows you to search through your database of notes or your database of flashcards to find the information you've put in in those apps. In the case of Anki, through flashcards, or in the case of Notion, through text or pages or toggles and so on and so forth. If you are completely new to those apps and you just don't have any idea what I'm talking about, then I suggest watching my videos on Anki and Notion before you watch this one. But just this video kind of assumes you are already sort of familiar with what Anki is and what Notion is. And it's more of how you can use both of them in a way that complements your learning. Now, another similarity between both Anki and Notion is that you can use it on your phone as well as your desktop or your laptop or whatever. And the advantage of this is you can have your notes or your flashcards on the go. So if you're commuting and you take the train to medical school or to your placement, then you can use Anki and do your reviews while you're on the train. Now I do have to say that Anki's offline functionality is a lot better than Notion's. Notion do say they're working on better offline functionality, but so far Anki's just works very well. And when you're back online, you sync your deck and it's just perfect. Whereas with Notion, what will happen is it will say it has offline capability, but when you click on a page that you wish to view offline, it will say, oh, you're offline, you need the internet to load this page, and then we'll save it for offline. Which defeats the whole point because if you're offline, you don't have internet to be able to view the page. So why are you telling me you need internet to view the page to download it so that you can view it offline? Why did you not download the page when I did have internet? Do you know what I mean? So Notion just doesn't have a great offline functionality compared to Anki. They do say they're working on it and I really do hope that they do work on it because the entire community just want that. They even make jokes about how Notion doesn't work offline and things. So Notion developers, if you're watching this, best believe I'm another one of these viewers who are telling you, please work on your offline feature. But yeah, those are the main similarities between Anki and Notion. Other than those two similarities, Anki and Notion are completely separate apps with separate functions and end users, so they should be treated as such. So what Notion works a lot better for is storing your notes and storing text and using that to learn from. Whereas Anki works a lot better if you wanna learn lots of different disconnected facts together. Because it's primarily a flashcard app, Anki is useful for learning information in chunks, you know, either as questions, so you have a question card at the front and an answer at the back, or what's called closed cards, where you basically just fill out the blank and you're trying to get your memory to recall what that blank is. So I've made videos on how to make effective Anki cards, so if you haven't checked that out already, then make sure you watch that. But essentially Anki is more for memorizing, Notion is more for notes. What's great about Anki is it has a spaced repetition algorithm, which basically means that you'll see a card and then after a couple of days you'll see that same card again and then after a couple of days you'll see that card again and the interval get, keeps getting longer and longer. And that's actually been shown to improve your memory and your retention of information. You could do a similar thing in Notion, but you'd have to do it manually. You'd have to put your dates by yourself. You'd have to create calendars. You'd have to review things regularly. Whereas with Anki, all of that behind the scenes work of when to show you the card and how to space it out is all done for you by the algorithm 
all you have to do as the user is get through your reviews every day. So in that way, it's a lot easier to use Anki to learn content than it is to do in Notion. Another great thing about Anki is you can also use pre-made decks made by other people. So for example, if you're studying the American medical school curriculum, you can use a deck called Anking. If you're in the UK, you can use Flash Finals. And there are several other decks as well. The one in UK, the Flash Finals one, is actually really outdated. I think the content is from like 2014. So it's very old and some of the guidelines have changed. So if you wanna use pre-made cards, I actually suggest it's better to make your own cards. I can't speak for Anking because I don't use the American deck or I'm not in America. But I have heard good things about the Anking deck. So if you're studying for the USMLE or in you're in American medical school, then check out Anking. But if you're in the UK, then you know Flash Finals isn't that great. I mean, it still has some of the core content that never changes over time. But with like guidelines and first line management of drugs and things have changed. So it's better off making your own cards so you're up to date with the knowledge. Now what Notion is a lot better for is for organizing your notes organizing your pages, having headings, creating schedules. So basically, if there's a certain topic you wanna to learn, you can have all your notes in Notion right there. And so when you're reviewing that topic, you're reviewing everything part of that topic as you have written down in your notes. Whereas with Anki, you're learning individual flashcards often in a randomized way. So you're not really connecting the dots between the concepts as such. So what Anki is good for is learning lots of separate facts, whereas Notion is good for tying things together because you've got all your different notes in a particular topic in one particular area. And what's great about Notion is that you can also create timeline views, you can create databases, you can create all these extra things within your pages that you just can't do with Anki. So if you wanted to schedule your revision or track things or even create to-do lists to see what topics you need to do and mark them off once you've done it, Notion is a lot clearer for doing that, as you know, that's what it's meant to be used for as a note-taking app. Whereas for Anki, it's literally a review, flashcard, do your decks, do your cards type of app. Which is why, you know, I think a combination of the two apps is the most useful way of doing things. And just like how a surgeon needs different tools to do different types of tasks, you should utilize different tools for different purposes for storing your notes as a database, for creating schedules, Notion does that really well, for reviewing your cards using space repetition as a flashcard app, Anki does that really well. So you should have all your main notes in Notion and you should have the cards that you're struggling to remember or the cards that you wanna view more often in Anki so that that way you're using both apps in an effective way. That's how I like to structure things. Some people just have all their notes in Anki and just don't use Notion for notes at all. But I just find that if you do that, then you're really disorganized. If you're wanting to study a particular topic, yes, you could do custom study in Anki, and yes, you could search for those cards and study them individually, but by having them as a reference in Notion, I can actually search things up if I need to find things. And I have all the information there, you know, for a particular condition, I'll have the symptoms, the investigations, the management, the diagnosis, everything in that one particular page in Notion. Whereas if I wanted to find that same thing on Anki, I'd have to search a lot, I'd have to look through different cards. It would just be a bit more of a hassle, which is why I like to use Notion as a reference tool and Anki as a study tool. And the other thing is for learning things for exams, Anki is a lot better because you're getting through many facts in a short amount of time. Having said that, you also need your notes to be on Notion so that you're making those connections between the different concepts. So in summary, use both. Put, have notes in your Notion, use Anki for more difficult concepts and learning facts. Anki should be for your memory consolidation. Notion should be for your database of notes. And there's this one useful website called toanki.net, which lets you convert your Notion notes into Anki flashcards directly. It's amazing and I've made a video on how to use it and what it does, so if you're, if you're wanting to find out a way how to integrate Anki and Notion a bit more effectively, then make sure you check that video and that tool out. It's very useful to have if you're using both apps. With that being said, I hope this video has been useful to you. 
and you might have ended up deciding okay I'll stick with just Notion or just Anki or use both but anyway I hope that's been useful to find out what you can do with Notion what you can do Anki for what its use cases are and why I think you should use both if you like this video then press the like button if you're new to this channel then make sure you hit the subscribe button sign up to my weekly newsletter as well there's previous issues and the link in the description so you can see the previous issues before you decide to sign up. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you again in my next video.